What about making language or making with language? How did you come to think that that's what you were trying to do? I didn't know poets. I felt like I knew Emily Dickinson and she was from another time. Still her voice lived and, and spoke, but we didn't have poets in our neighborhood. We had attention to language. I was on track to become a painter because it was like encountering words with shapes and color. Mm -hmm. I liked going into that kind of space that did not need words. It's like, I want to speak what I hear. I'm thinking to so many things you just said, but the overall topic of your poetry might be transformation. Yes. Well, you know how people who aren't poets will say, what is your poetry about? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, well, the, the worst question. Yeah. What do you write like? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you have this construction. It's like a transformer station and mm -hmm. you've got all kinds of time running through it. You've got rhythms and patterns and shapes and meaning. Mm. I wanted to have another door open to knowledge or to perception. Mm -hmm. And that's how I went at poetry. I saw the poem as a way to transform language, to take something that was unbearable, for instance, and at least find a little piece of light that mm -hmm. becomes a doorway so that you might have a glimmer of understanding. Mm -hmm.